Uh, I think that the, despite international hesitation, the Philippines economy is in a relatively good place, taking into consideration the international challenges. Uh, there was a volcano tile eruption here. There is a virus outbreak in China. Uh, the fundamentals, however, in the Philippine economy are very good in secular terms, in long term. Uh, I think that the current consensus was for about 6.2% growth to 6.5% in the uh, ongoing year. That could be delivered. If things go right, it could be even more. It could be 6.7%, 6.8%. If the epidemic threat proves to be bigger than we think at the moment, it can reduce it to some extent. But for now, it's still relatively far from the Philippine ex experience. Bigger issue is whether the government can implement the programs it has created. We had an example a year or two ago when the, there was a budget impasse. That was a political mistake that undermined the economic growth. That, I think, should not happen again. That is a very serious thing, and it, it, it needlessly reduces the long-term growth prospects of the country. So if these kind of problems can be contained on the political side, the economic potential remains still very strong. Now, there are a lot of people who say that, and they say it for the right reasons, but it's also important to stress that in, in life and in economy, in theater, you don't have many lives. This is a time when you have to deliver Philippines was a promise, a great economic promise for a very long time, but those pledges, those promises, those uh, hopes were never really realized. I'm more optimistic in terms of what I've seen in the past three to four years. If this can continue and it has a consensus of the nation, and so far it has had, that's a positive uh, trajectory. Yeah. What, what do you suggest also in the government? Because one of the reasons why there is the impasse is that apparently they were, there were alle allegations of in insertion. How do you think they will resolve this uh, allegations of, of insertion in the budget? Yes. What, what do you think? How should the government deal with this? Uh, my view is a bit uh, contrarian. I believe that there is a very strange uh, situation in the Philippines in that uh, the dominant party enjoys, or the government and the party, enjoys the great trust of the people and has enjoyed that since the election 2016. Prior to that, there was a long uh, <laughs> governance period by the Liberal Party and the meltdown in 2016. In most countries, when you have this kind of situation, typically in Nordic countries, like these North Champ companies yeah. or others in Europe and US. The opposition, when they lose, they really have to self-criticize and see what did we do wrong, what can we do better. To some extent, that is happening here. But there is this inclination to alert foreign bodies and international governments uh, in a way that's undermining the Philippine future itself at the expense of the political capital of uh, some of the critics. And I think this is a very problematic situation. It's very hard to contain it. Uh, people who have the freedom of uh, speech and uh, people who can express themselves as they want. But at the same time, uh, it distorts the media reporting sometimes internationally about the Philippines. Uh, for instance, two weeks ago, a week or two ago, there was a story in The Economist about the positive investment prospects in the country. That was something new. Until now, most of the stories have been more about the strongman governance and, and so on and so forth, that there is a sentiment of, of autocracy, possibly in the Philippines. I think that these fears are exaggerated. I think that there is a strong president who's nonetheless willing to work with the democratic institutions, hasn't really exceeded his uh, power in any meaningful way, and is willing to hear uh, others as well. So th this is part of the big Filipino political debate, but the way it filters across borders sometimes may create concerns where there are few and minimize issues that should be dealt with.